to-go boxes. Our to-go boxes, they're not good. They're f***ing amazing. How did we get started here at Albemarle Paper? Well, late 2008, my cousin John and I started this paper company, and we got all sorts of different products. Hey, Nick, come on, man. Let's get to work. We got cleaning products, too? You got a party this weekend? We got your back. Anything you need here at APS. Plates, napkins, silverware, table covers. We got everything covered. Right, boys? Mm. What are the items do we carry? Paper towels? I got it. Toilet paper? I got it. Gloves? We got you. Pizza boxes? You're probably wondering, where are we? Where's Albemarle Paper? Don't you worry about that. We got you. I'll bring the product to the door. Jorge Gonzalez, Top Bin 90. I'm here with a very special guest, Miguel Ibarra Miguel. How are you feeling today? I'm really good. Just enjoying the day and uh, practicing the team. Nice, nice. It is rivalry week here in Charlotte for you guys, man. How, how's everybody feeling? How's everybody prepping so far? Yeah, I think, um, you know, this week we had to uh, resolve that. I mean, the team wasn't happy enough, so we're happy to be back home. We've been on the road a lot this, this year, so uh, having three games uh, back to back to back uh, home is going to be big for us. I Speaking of that a little bit more, um, you obviously you've experienced MLS, you've been around for a while. What kind of, a, I guess, leadership skills have you gained? I mean, players obviously see you as a leader in this squad. So they've talked to us a little bit about that. Like, how how is that role from, you know, you went from just being a player to now, like, you're an experienced player? Yeah, I mean, uh, last year coming into signing with the team, I had talked to Mike, Mike, uh, Mike talked to me about, you know, I'm coming in as one of the veteran guys that he wanted me to be a leader which was something different for me. Um, it was always me going on the team and I wasn't the, the, the oldest player there. So now coming in here and being the oldest player, I get an uh, example for everybody else. So um, whenever they have questions for me or I see something that I can help them in, I'm always available and they always do that. So me for me, it's just pushing to make sure that. Nice, nice. What would you say, what's like your biggest advice that you give to younger players? Yeah, for me, I mean, I'm not uh, trying to call you older. <laughs> no, for me, um, I mean, I, it wasn't easy for me. It's always tough.
actually, um, you know, there's an MLS team here, a new women's team is coming. What have you noticed in your I guess, second year here now? Oh, for me, for Charlotte, I didn't think it was a big soccer environment here. When I got here, and just when I went to the Charlotte uh, FC playing, you just hear everything there. You're just like, you know, there's a lot of big supporters. So whenever you see that, it just motivates you more. Whenever we see people on the stands in our games, it motivates you more. When you see the women's team now is going to have a few. You want to go out there and support them. I mean, it's great. I, I think soccer is growing really big here. So that's amazing to see. And I, and have you also played West Coast? Have you gotten used to the Charlotte weather where like in a week we can go from hot, cold to winter to wearing shorts? Yeah, I mean, I always tell, I mean, everybody always asks me, how's the weather there? And I'm like, it's amazing. And then next thing you know, the next day it's like, it's cloudy. And the next day it's like raining. So you never know what you're getting here, but I love it. I mean, it's, okay. it's just something you have to adjust. And I mean, for me, it's, it's been amazing. Nice. Have you found like a good food spot too, like that you like here or no? Um, not really. Okay. I have not right, yet. I'm going to have to give you some recommendations. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. Nice, awesome. And then I also wanted to ask you, what, what do you think this team, what can this team do this season? Obviously, you already mentioned um, your start has been good, right? But what can this, how far do you think this team can go? What's the mentality in that locker room? Guys that have experienced like you and play, what can you guys do? I mean, I think uh, last year we went out early, which is something that we were all bummed about. And we were like, we had more to give than just come out of, of the first round. So I think now our mentality was the first game, I mean, we played them again, the ones that kicked us out, you know, the, we won that game and that mentality of going back into the locker room, um, just being like, we can actually do big things, and now having this great start of the season, um, we just have to be consistent and mm. working, and I think that's one of the things we can get complacent, because once you get complacent, what happens to us in the last uh, two games, we don't get the results, as soon as we get complacent, we start dropping points. So I think for us, it's, we can't get complacent. We don't have the team. If we're working hard, there's no one that can beat us. If we're complacent, then you know we're just gonna be there and not get the results that we wanted. So I think uh, if we if we stay if we work hard and we keep going, I think uh, you know we want to bring a trophy back to Charlotte. Nice, awesome, Miguel Ibarra, everybody. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you.